Hi everyone, Brian here from NJ Exotic Pets with an African pygmy hedgehog. Now we're going to do a little care video on these guys and how to take care of them. It's not too hard, they make great pets. So, how to take care of a hedgehog. First things first, size wise, they don't get all that big. They're going to be fully grown about the size of a softball. So their caging is pretty modest. The moderate sized cage and up to maybe a 40 gallon breeder if you want to put them in a tank is totally reasonable for a hedgehog. Although something you might not know is they do have a temperature requirement. Pygmy hedgehogs have a very low body temperature compared to most of their warm blooded mammals. So a uh, medium wattage, you know, 75 watt or 50 watt black light bulb should be used to maintain a heat of between 75 and 85 degrees for them as they like it a little warmer than most of your other mammalian pets. Now, when it comes to feeding, we have ceramic dishes here, and that's for a reason. Hedgehogs are very, very strong for their size. Anything that isn't heavy, they'll push and flip over. Plastic or tin or anything like that will be no match for a smart hedgehog. It's also ceramic bowls for water because they can't use a traditional water bottle like you'd see with rats or rabbits or things of that nature. That's because the little marble can damage their teeth. So we want to avoid that as much as we can. That does mean we're freshening the water every day, but that's quite all right. Now, as far as food goes, here at the store, we actually do a mix of two different brands of food. We have Hedgehog's Pet Pro, and we have Exotic Nutrition's Hedgehog Complete. Both of these claim to be a total complete hedgehog diet, but they're both lacking in a little bit of something. So mixed together, it makes a very, very good base for your hedgehog's overall nutrition. Now, when you mix these two together, we also recommend that you add a hedgehog booster. Just add a multivitamin to their food. Now, this multivitamin will ensure they have good gut health and coat health and everything else that they need. Now, you can also, necess uh, necessities for their tanks are a paper-based bedding, a little house, and a wheel. Now, the paper-based bedding is because hedgehogs do everything with their nose. Their eyesight's very, very poor, so they get through most of their life by sniffing around. Anything other than a paper-based bedding, a uh, wood chip bedding, cedar, things like that, they'll have the constant smell of pine or cedar or whatever that wood chip is, and that constant irritation really, really bother their nose. Now, having a paper-based bedding completely ignores that. They should also have a wheel. A wheel is both for their exercise and uh, it's sort of a litter box. What they'll do is in the middle of the night when they wake up, they will run for several hours. While running, they'll go to the bathroom. Most of their mess then becomes maintained in the wheel. If we're cleaning the wheel every day, you only have to clean their cage or tank usually about once a week. But if we don't clean the wheel every day, they won't run in a filthy wheel, and the next night they'll just mess up their entire tank. So cleanliness is pretty important. Hedgehogs also do need to be bathed as they will anoint. Anointing means they'll froth up their mouth if they smell or taste anything they really like, and then they'll lick that all over their quills. This can make them a little gross. So they should get a bath at least once a month. No more than twice a month, though, because they do have issues with dry skin. If they get dry skin, coconut oil, baby oil, or a little vitamin E oil on the dry skin is usually enough to help it go back to normal. When it comes to bathing them, just like with any kind of a cleaner, it needs to be very mildly scented, if it's scented at all. Plain Blue Dawn Dish Liquid is actually a perfectly safe soap to wash them with, so is Johnson & Johnson's Baby Shampoo provided they're not scented. A little bit of soap in a small Tupperware bin and some warm water. You scrub their stomach, and when it comes to cleaning their quills, you have to make sure never to use a washcloth. If you use a washcloth on their back quills, their quills tend to get stuck and get pulled out of their back, which can be painful. Instead, use a very small baby soft bristled toothbrush and scrape out their quills, always head to back, never the opposite direction. Always brush with the quills. Dry them off promptly after they're done and send them back into their cage. This process again is once a month and no more than twice. Too much will cause dry skin, so remember to avoid that.
other than that, feeding them is not too difficult as well when you talk about what kind of food they eat, but how you feed them is even simpler. You'll fill a bowl with food, and you will leave it until they're done. The hedgehogs sort of eat at their own pace. So they'll munch through the bowl between two and four days. So just keep an eye on it. If it starts to get crummy, toss it out and refill it. Don't toss the food every day because you will be wasting food. Other than that, they're a joy to have and they can be very friendly so long as they have consistent handling. They do tend to get rude or uppity or snippy if they're not consistently handled. So to make them nice and bonded, they do need to be handled frequently. Once you have that down, they're very, very sweet. They like to hang out. They like to eat snacks. They're a great little couch pet. So if you're interested, you can get one here at NJ Exotic Pets. Here, buddy. Let's say goodbye. Say bye-bye.